week, and MSNBC has 500,000. Why are they setting the parameters? Why are they controlling the debate? Alex Jones doesn't tell me what to think. He says what he thinks, shows his evidence, just tells it like it is. And I don't put on an act here. I don't talk real slow and talk to you like you're a five-year-old. The fact is, MSNBC is plunging in the ratings. We are exploding in the ratings. The truth is, they're dying, and, and they tried to suppress a free press in this country. They tried to stop talk radio being legalized, where you could just go on the air and say what you think and take calls, because they don't want you having a platform. The only thing going up is MSNBC's web ratings, but they're still a lot lower than ours. Their actual physical ratings in TV are down 24% in one year. You type in the headline, MSNBC ratings dropped 24% in 2013. We'll put that on screen for you, along with all the other globalist operations. We're going to skip this network break. i got to quit doing it, but I can't help it. I want to get to this video and this audio now that we're analyzing here. Because... They now understand that they're in free fall. They now understand that the idea of freedom is getting out there. So they want to brand the idea of libertarianism, constitutionalism, new renaissance, space exploration, humanity unifying globally around free will, not around autocratic forced systems. They're scared to death of real liberalism. And so they want to say, I'm GOP, so that all the Democrats get the word, oh, I don't want to go to a Tea Party. I don't want to be around those racists. I don't want to be around that Alex Jones who MSNBC says is deeply racist and then shows no proof. Or behind the Boston bombing and shows no proof. Why are they so scared of us? Because they know that we're not putting out talking points. We're putting out hardcore historical analysis with passion. People are listening, they're looking it up, they're finding out I'm accurate, and then more, they're finding out their own information, and they can see with their NSA systems how fast liberty is rising, and they're hitting the panic button. Now, also in this piece, and then we're going to play it, also in this piece, if you listen to it, you notice they go 9-11 truther Alex Jones, knowing that the Republicans and Democrats attack 9-11 truthers under Bush. So they also want to make Republicans go, ooh, I better not support anything Alex Jones does. He's 9-11 truther. Folks, the, the government's been caught running Al-Qaeda all over the world, giving them stinger missiles now. That was in the news yesterday. There are real radical Muslims. My point is they're being allowed to operate so that when they attack us, our liberties can be taken. And they just want to boil that down and say, oh, you know, he says the firefighters blew up the towers. That's, that's something they've said on Fox and CNN. I never said that. They, will, they want you to, to be divided. They want conservatives divided away from me. They want liberals divided away from me. They want everybody because they don't want people understanding the unifying message of being aware of the social engineering globalist that are sitting on top of us using psychology, psychiatry, uh, advertising, propaganda, spin, psyops, product placement, propaganda placement, behavior placement. You know, I coined the term propaganda placement, and they now use it. They call it behavior placement. You don't have to. I'm here telling you the magic trick is fixed, and I'm telling you how he does the magic trick. And, and you're like a little kid, new listeners, going, oh, no, it's real. No, it's not. There's a compartment in that table where he reaches in and then there's a compartment in the top of the hat and he reaches through with a spring and grabs a rabbit out of the box under it. And you're like, well, I can't see it. I, 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 look, I'm telling you, there's a rabbit in that box. Go kick the box over. There's a rabbit in it. And they go, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. There's no rabbits in that box. He's magically materializing it. No, I'm not the conspiracy theorist. I'm telling you how these criminals are engaged in an open conspiracy against you. And they're so weak, they've got to dumb you down from birth so that they can manage you instead of empowering humanity. Now, I'm going to go to this piece. We're skipping this network break. Stations should not play ads over this because, because this is a network break. This costs us a lot of money to skip these ads. But I do it because airtime is so precious. Let's go ahead and go to the MSNBC uh, piece, and I'll stop it here and there and analyze it. But I've basically already broken it down. They are so scared. They're saying, oh, my gosh, GOP, ah, ha, ha, you're discredited. 
because more and more of you are really saying what you think. More and more of you are talking, you know, like radicals. More and more of you are being insurgents. More and more of you are being terrorists. Oh, no, oh, no. We're supposed to stage a revolution ourselves against you. And when you fight back as counter-revolutionaries, we're supposed to call you terrorists. You're not supposed to get on the offense with the moral high ground and call us out as criminals for Fast and Furious and Benghazi and all the rest of it. You're not supposed to restore the republic. You're supposed to let us take your kids. You're supposed to let us break up your families. You're supposed to let us feed you GMO. You're supposed to let us have the moral high ground. You're supposed to let us lecture you all day. You're supposed to let us be the boss and do what we say. Don't listen to this one Texan who tells you you don't have to follow them. And then they try to patronize you and say, you're following me. This is not the Jonesification of the world. This is survival instinct kicking in. And you know in your gut, but also intellectually, I'm real. I'm real, ladies and gentlemen, red-blooded, big heart, pumps blood. I don't like being a slave. I take it personal. I'm committed. I don't, I don't have any fear of these people. I only have fear that I'm too weak to, to, to really smash into the enemy. All I want is to bring this scum down and see humanity go to the next level. That's all I want. And I know we're going to beat them. And I love you. And I love those of you that stand and work and, and bust your ass in this system. They're trying to make as hard as they can to break up your families and, 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 and shut down our society. They're waging a war on us. But when humans know they're under attack, they get stronger. If you don't know you're under attack, you get weaker and learn to live under the slavery. But when you know you're under attack, it only makes you stronger. So admit you're under attack and then take action against the enemy. Let's go to the enemy transmission directly from the White House directed at the GOP and the real Libertarian Tea Party that is taking it over. They call us an infection. No, ladies and gentlemen, we are the cure. Here it is. Heller says these men and women are patriots. So does the website InfoWars, a paranoid online haven run by Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist whose stories often make their way from his website InfoWars, where on any day you can find headlines about vaccines, mass fluoridation, and the 9-11 cover-up, into the so-called mainstream GOP establishment. Alex Jones was a champion of Cliven Bundy from the very beginning. Because he's saying he'll do whatever he has to uh, to not be, uh, you know, have his grazing rights stolen uh, by these pirates. Drudge elevated the story and it made its way onto Fox News's airwaves. Brannon is a connoisseur of a wide range of Jones-backed conspiracies, from Obamacare as socialist plot to vaccines to something called Agenda 21. Someone who is well acquainted with the right's favorite conspiracy theories, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. I'm pleased to be here to support a fellow physician, to support Greg Brannon. Rand Paul is also a fan of Alex Jones. He's been a guest on Jones's radio show over the years. Paul apparently takes his cues from Jones on fringe obsessions, like Bilderberg, a yearly meeting of people that Jones believes secretly run the world. Do you know anything about the Bilderberg Group? Uh, only what I've learned from Alex Jones. <laughs> Do you know, can you, for the people who don't know what's going on, can you tell people who are the Bilderberg Group, if you feel comfortable doing so? Yeah, well, I'm not probably the world's expert on it, but I think it's people who get together who are very wealthy people who I think manipulate and use government to their own personal advantage. For more and more Republicans, if you're not out on the fringe, you're not in the party's mainstream. I've actually seen this discussed in all sorts of corners of the right-wing media, and not just in the most conspiratorial circles, that the reason that the BLM came for Cliven Bundy's mm. ranch is so that you could help the Chinese build a solar plant What's on pause? that land. Um, do you Back it up a little bit. And again, the full piece is up on Infowars.com. Again, in the BLM's website, it said, as an environmental easement next to the corridor, that's how it works. So they get to use one area, then they have to have an area that's an easement that's not being used. We're going to use the 600,000 acres of Clive Bundy's rangeland. Now, they took it off the BLM website. They took it off the Google site. We have it saved. Scrib has it saved. They do not deny it's real. They just come out and say that, you know, uh, there's nothing going on with Harry Reid's son. Rory Reid is on record in over 100 publications, Reuters, AP, you name it, as a scandal that his dad got the deal with the Chinese who put him on the company board. But they prey on the MSNBC audience. 
and sit there and say, huh, you know what's even crazier? They claim you're with the Chinese in the land grab. Ha, 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 ha. Tell me another one. Tell me Bill Clinton lies next. Ha, ha, that's even better. Tell me, tell me they ship guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment. Ha, 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 ha. Tell me, tell me Obamacare is increasing prices and you can keep your doctor. Oh, you, or that you built your business. Oh, that's even funnier. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, let's go back to it. I've actually seen this discussed in all sorts of corners of the right-wing media, and not just in the most conspiratorial circles. That the reason that the BLM came for Cliven Bundy's ranch is so that you could help the Chinese build a solar plant on that land. Um, do you want to res respond to that allegation? It's ridiculous. That'd be a great story if it were true. I don't represent anybody, Chinese or otherwise, that has an interest in developing anything on that land. <laughs> I don't pause. know what he was thinking. It pause. You know? It pause. That land is listed in the documents as the environmental easement. You notice he said, he's a lawyer, he goes, I don't represent the Chinese or anybody else on issues with that land. Back it up 10 seconds. This is why they go, Alex Jones got caught lying again, not 1.6 billion. It was 23 million bullets, Alex. And they do one line item of all the stuff that was 1.6 billion, now 2.6 or more. Remember, there's no drones either in the skies. Alex Jones lied about that. There's no tax on, in Obamacare for small businesses of $5,000 per employee, even though it's hitting us this year. Matt Drudge says he's going to pay the fine. He, he's a liar, folks. There's no, there's no fees, even though they're setting up the IRS to take them. Let's go back to him lying to you with a Cheshire, Grat, uh, Cheshire Cat Grin confidence game with the male version of Rachel Maddow. Here it is. That allegation? It's ridiculous. That'd be a great story if it were true. I don't oh. represent anybody, Chinese or otherwise, that has an interest in developing anything on that land. I don't know what he was thinking. You know, he tends to be a reasonable guy. He supported immigration reform. He supported an extension of unemployment insurance. Uh, maybe he just had a bad day last Friday, but I think those were unfortunate comments and anything that uh, is said that gives credence to those kind of uh, ideas I think is is misplaced. What about your father calling the folks their domestic terrorists? There's been a lot of backlash over that. That <laughs> that phraseology from him seemed to me uh, a bit hyperbolic. What's, what do you think of that? Well, if my job was to respond and comment on everything my dad said, I'd have another full-time job, so I'm going to decline <laughs> oh, that really? request. Chris. No, own what daddy did. Um, I would say, though, that anybody that looks at that, I, uh, that situation would realize that that what those people are doing is simply inappropriate in America. If you don't agree with the government, right, you, can't, you can't point. Well, they tried to come out with signs, and you tasered them and beat them up. You know, your dad appointed the BLM head that is part of land grabbing nationwide, not just there. They're about to grab 900,000 acres in Texas. They're just taking it. Claiming anything on a river is theirs. They're going to start with the Red River. And I'm sure you'll get a slice of that, you little bastard. I mean, uh, that's mean to bastards. I, I am so sick of these gangsters, these chicken-necked gangsters, these Vegas mob bosses. Literally, yeah, there it is. There it is. It's 90,000 acres of Texas land, excuse me. BLM eyes that. That's what's going on here. And you show up with guns and everything, that's inappropriate. Look, I'm going to, that's a few snippets of it. I'm going to air the whole thing unedited at the bottom of the next hour. From the start where they demonize the Bundys uh, and more. But that's all coming up. I didn't plug anything this hour. Skip breaks. Please go to InfoWarsStore.com. Shop with the good guys. Great pro-gun t-shirts. Great books, films, great supplements, the best stuff out there. InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or 888-253-3139. Become a PrisonPlanet.tv member as well to see the nightly news. It's really Thank powerful. 7 o'clock Central. Concentrated 30 minutes of news. PrisonPlanet.tv, PrisonPlanet.tv. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. 
The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. 